enjoying the warm weather in Florida just like you, except on the other coast. Perfect, man. Perfect. Yep. Do you listen on the internet right now? Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. No, I, I enjoy that. That's in your Tiger TV and everything. I've been watching you for years, and you've really taken this whole programming to a level that's just phenomenal. I appreciate it. And now, here's Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF weekend, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple... You are there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you are there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 37, NASDAQ up 27, SPs up 6, gold contract down $90, trading at $1,651 an ounce, silver off $5.58 an ounce at $30.96. That's the biggest move downtown, folks, since 1980. Copper down 17 pennies at 3.31 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $80.25 an ounce. Bonds down a point and 21 ticks, trading out at 144.13. Dollar index down 15 ticks at 78.95. Euro at 135 and the yen is at 76.64. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, so what do we have? S&P. First leg down, folks, you know, took us from July. July, you're at the 1350 mark in the S&P. We get down 1101. Thunder down, right? Thunder down on huge volume. Make it 1101. Now, what we've done here this week is that we've tested that low, and we've tested it on the daily and on the weekly with dramatically lighter volume. So what that sets up, is a bounce right up the other side. And when I say a bounce up the other side, the, the test out here in the NYSE uh, was with about 35% uh, like about lighter volume. Um, bottom line, now we're at 1136. The good old 1230 is game again. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. What you have with the Dow is this. Same type of setup in the Dow. Dow gets all the way down to the bottom, that bottom being uh, 10,604. Rejects it. Has light of volume, game now all the way up to 11,400. NASDAQ composite, we go to the composite, you take a look at the composite. What the composite did is this. First leg down of the composite started out at that, that 2,862 level, gets all the way down to uh, the 2,300 level. Huge volume, consolidating. Now the NASDAQ is the strongest indice out there. Not that that's saying a lot, but it's definitely the strongest indice. Uh, NASDAQ, what did NASDAQ did? NASDAQ also came into the... Now, the NASDAQ only came into the highs of the low week of August 12th. NASDAQ also came in with 33% light of volume. What does that do? That does the exact same thing. Boing! And you bounce higher. Now, the amazing part about it, of course, is this. If you, you know, uh, actually, uh, what was pretty wild today is that one of the targets, and uh, thanks, Jeff, uh, he alerted me that on the front page of uh, CNBC, a big bad bear, okay? We are in a bear market, by the way, but the reality is, is that when I just walk you through this, you'll see what happens at these bottoms. That's a big bad bear, right? And on, you know, the TV this morning, uh, you had the Jim O'Neill, Goldman Sachs uh, head, international head, right? He's shaking in his boots. Um, Barton Briggs yesterday, uh, we were saying 1,500 S&P three weeks ago. Now, you know, he's saying that it's the end of the world. Bottom line, folks, that's what happens at short-term bottoms. Now, that's the short-term picture. The building cause that we're in here is this, is that what we have done once again, meaning yesterday into uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, is that we actually did still come down with juice. So... What it's saying, because we came down so fast the first time, it takes a lot to break both those bottoms out. We had gap down yesterday. That took a huge amount out of the marketplace. Bottom line, we're going to get a bounce. How we come into the tops is going to talk, walk, and squawk. Now, let's go over to the gold market. 
Let's go over to the safe market as all the, the folks buying gold. Bottom line, folks, there's nothing safe in the marketplace. What does gold do out here today? Gold goes from 1757 down to 1631. Okay, so what does that set up? First off, that sets up $1,550. That's what gold wants to run to. Uh, we came down on 338,000 contracts, big numbers, big, big numbers. There's nothing basically to, to stop this than, you know, I suspect we're going to get down there pretty quick. Now, that's on a smaller time basis. Now, <laughs> gold still hasn't broken its uptrend. I know this sounds insane, but depending on how long you've been in the gold market, folks, okay, the normal corrections in gold can go from 37 up to 47 percent. And let me tell you something, you know, uh, it's an amazing commodity. There's no two ways about it. And there's going to be a lot more pain. And unfortunately, um, people like buying highs. Well, you know what? Anyway, take it for what it's worth. Let's go to the silver market. Silver market's even worse. I mean, because what, ha what happens is that the silver market, what, what we did out here today is this. Silver took out the last swing point out here, downtown, at the $32 and uh, 35 cents. We had, uh, let me see, S-I-Z. Okay, so we had 115,000 contracts, and it took it out big too, folks. Okay, so we get 15 bucks. That that sets up, you know, the, the first leg here is really about 30 bucks. You know, we'll see um, if SI. Let me put something up here. Because I'm going to say something after this that no one is going to like in the metals market. Period. But bottom line is, let's watch this. How this goes through. Okay, so we're. I put, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'm putting this back to 07, folks. I'm going to put it on a weekly. And the way, this is what we have right now. The, the way we're set up right now is this. Silver, you know, wants to come down to $26. The problem is this, and it's a big problem, that the way that we broke here, uh, I can make a case that you can get to 20 bucks. That's the bottom line. I can also make a case, now this is going to be the shocker, folks, because the bottom line, I can also make a case that gold can go to $1,200. So we'll see where this goes out. Now, you want to hear something that's really bizarre, depending on you know how long you've been in the gold market. That move to 1200 by the way, is only a .382 move from the beginning of the, the bull to where we are now. And... It's it's just the whole thing's amazing. It's, it's just uh, that's just amazing. Let's go to Patrick in Orlando. Hey Patrick, what's going on? Hey Tommy, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Uh, it's, I'm having a great day. What about you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. Tommy, I have a two-part question in, about gold, and you answered one, you know, in your opening comments. Um, what is the best gold coin to buy and own for longer term? It doesn't matter. What happens is this: at the so so let's talk about this for a second and folks don't forget about Tiger Metal Exchange if you're buying gold coins we can give you the best prices out there period okay you can give Steve a call this is what ends up happening so right now gold is down a hundred bucks right you're at uh, sixteen fifty one right there's 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 plenty of people that will stop buying in in a big way at about fifteen fifty I expect right now what happens unfortunately as the price goes down, the premium will go up. That's that's what you have happening. Um, the so you want to pay, pay the least amount of premium, Patrick, that you can pay. You know. Can you be, please explain that, Tommy? The premium. What happens to the premium is this. So picture this: the the premiums are what you have to pay above and beyond what the spot price of gold is. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So at certain points. The, like when gold's at its highs, which it was, right, we, the p premiums were very small. Some days would sell out, some days would sell out at five, ten dollars over, you know, over the high. That's it. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you had to move it out quickly. When this goes down, you'll see the premiums go up to 30. Well, they're already 30. They're probably 30, they're probably 50 right now. Um, they'll, they'll stay 50, 60, 70 because it's hard, they're harder to get. Because less people, you see, the people that get trapped in this stay trapped. That's the bottom line, which is a shame, but. That, that's what ends up happening. So the premium goes up when the price goes down. And then the okay. premiums, 
most of the time, the eagle has the largest premium in it. You know, if you're just buying gold for the price of gold, then buy the whatever quote you get at that particular point. Like, let's say if you're calling Steve, you're calling Tiger Metal Exchange. And folks, that number is 866-618-8888. Um, what will end up happening is that it depends on how much we get in and the day and what we get in and then what we move out. All gold dealers move everything out at basically 5 o'clock at night. Well, most of them do. Let's put it that way. Because no, we can see what happens is that the premiums that every gold, well, every big gold dealer, legitimate gold dealer works on, right? There's no way anyone could make money today if you didn't move it out. Because no one's making $90 a coin. The only people making $90 a coin, folks, are the people that are telling you the world's going to come to an end. And they advertise one thing and then you call them up and they try to sell you something else. Okay. Yeah. So is it better to own like a bar of, I mean, not the big bar, but a little, a little chunk of gold as opposed to a coin, Tommy? Well, you'll pay no premium for it. You'll pay no premium. If you buy a bar off us, you're paying no paying premium. And you're selling it back to us, we'll probably, we'll probably quote you maybe $10 or $15 under a spot. That's what ends up happening. Okay. Yeah. So you, cool. it, there's always a spread going on, okay? Okay. You know, um, if, uh, how many are you going to buy? No, I, I, you know, I was maybe going to get two coins, you know. Okay. Just, uh, then, then if you're going to do that, buy... I, I buy an, an ace eagle. Eagles are beautiful, and the maple leaves are beautiful, and so are cougarans. You know, they, okay. maple it, leaf. Yeah, maple leaves are beautiful. Yeah, I mean, because what what you're doing there, right? It is, it, it, you should do. There's two different things you have there. I mean, when you see these coins, the coins are gorgeous, man. Do you know what I mean? But they, I, I'd say that the well, the the eagle is where it's at. The eagle, no doubt, is where it's at. The maple leaf is beautiful. Um, it's hard to get the new new cougar ends. The Australian uh, one, we don't get a lot of those, but that that's a beautiful coin too. Um, <laughs> so you can get some beauty in it too. I mean, it's only going to cost you next to fifteen bucks or something. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And then you think in gold? I was going to ask you about the gold, but I heard it. You thinking it's pulling back to fifteen fifty? That's what I have on my trade line. So yeah. And well, listen. This, oh, this is great. What he just said that. So this is what. See, the problem comes in that. The 1550 is, is a good level, okay? Where the problem comes in, what I've found over the years is this, is that the because so many people have bought in at these highs that absolutely have never been in this market, right? They're going to sell, man. I know they're going to sell, and that's why I think it's going to come down even further. Because they won't be able to take the heat. They, you know, they bought in the, in the context that they think it's something safe. Yeah. We're going to be right back, folks. Thanks, Tommy.